Hey Moon Babes and welcome back to my channel. My name is Saria the Moon and today I'll be showing you guys how I install and style my V part wig using almost no leave out. Let's get started. I'm starting off with a simple braid down pattern. I decided to have a thin slice of hair at the top of my head. With the V-part wig style, you have the choice of leave out or no leave out. But I personally like to have hair left out for a very natural touch. Also, leave out just looks really wiggy on straight style, so we're gonna move past that. I'm starting off by adding heat protectant to my leave out. Since my goal is to grow out my old blonde hair, I want to make sure I'm protecting all of my new growth as it comes in. Next, I'm going in with my half an inch babyless flat iron, perfect for edges and short hair. So this is how the V part looks. It's actually super similar to a U part wig, except the wig can go basically all the way or be open as far as you'd like. These wigs normally come with clip-ins on them, but the clip-ins were not comfortable at all, so I decided I'd much rather cut those off and sew the hair down. I ordered this wig as a 28 inch and 400 grams, so it's super thick. I also love how healthy my hair always comes in. I've never had to clip my ends at all. They've always been extremely thick and full. The wig does come with adjustable straps in the back. One thing I will say about V-part wigs is that they are super big head friendly. I personally would love for this wig to come in a small and medium, so I'm hoping my warehouse can get that situated. So the hard part is basically already done by my braider. All I have to do is sew down my hair and style this. For this, I'll be using blonde thread to match my wig. Sewing down the V-part is really easy. If you've never done it before, there are literally 10 years worth of videos on YouTube that can show you how to sew down a wig. The first time I installed this wig, I actually left out a little bit too much hair, so make sure to bring your wig with you if you plan on going to a braider to ensure you leave the right amount of hair out. Once I'm happy with where my wig is sitting, I'm going to start sewing it down. I personally don't think it really matters if you start sewing from the front of the wig or the back of the wig, but what does matter is how much pressure you're adding to the thread when you're pulling it through. Make sure you're very gentle and easy when doing the sew-in. Don't try to sew your hair to the gods, like just be gentle and be easy because the last thing you want to do is add unneeded pressure onto your sew-in. Once I'm done, I just add a knot to the end of my needle, cut the thread, and tie the thread like two more times. I just love how this hair can be blended so easily. Like, ugh, you guys would think that this is made for, you would think it's made for short hair because it's just so simple, it's so easy. Okay, so once I'm done with that side, I'm just gonna move over to my next side, section out my hair, put it down, rinse and repeat. Actually, on this side of the wig, I decided to start front to back and personally, I think I much prefer to start uh, back to front but like sewing on the opposite side of my head or like the right side of my head was super just hard for me I don't know what I was doing it took me a few times to get it right but like once I got it I got it we were good
Okay, and now we're like basically done. All that's left is to fix my part down the middle and start styling my hair. Okay, do y'all see that? Do you see that? Perfection. Literally, if I wanted to walk out the house right now, I totally could. Look how thick that hair is. Literally, guys, when I was talking to my uh, vendor, they were like, you shouldn't get a wig this thick because like, it's just, what are you going to do with all that hair? But I love it. I love the thick, thick, long hair. Okay, so I'm going to wand curl my hair because wand curls just last so long in kinky straight hair. Honestly, I think they last for all hairstyles, but there's something about the kinky straight hair that really just, mm, really just grabs a wand curl. But y'all, it took me, I kid you not, like two hours to curl my hair. I was also watching Cheer season two and <laughs> that did not help. Like there was so much drama in Cheer season two. Like I just loved it. So I was watching that and I was curling my hair. So I really wasn't going that fast, but also 400 grams of hair, like, if you don't wear kinky straight hair, it's like, oh, that's normal, right? Like you get 26 inches of hair, you have to have four bundles. But when you have kinky straight hair, the hair is so big on its own, y'all. <laughs> it was just so much hair, but I have a few clips in here on how I curl my hair if you're curious. And if not, you know, you can just skip ahead. I decided last minute to sew down the front of the wig too. At first I wasn't sure cause I didn't want to put any like extra, you know, like pressure or strain my edges out because I'm still kind of recovering from when I had that bad sewing. Um, but really it's not that bad. Like the first night it was kind of tight, but it really wasn't bad. Like the second, by the second day I was feeling fine. But also just be careful you guys, like be really gentle when you're sewing down your own hair, like don't be heavy handed. It is not gonna keep the style lasting any longer. All right, and here it is y'all, like, oh, you guys, wax sticks, if you don't use wax sticks yet, like I think I talked about them in my last video, but definitely add wax sticks into your hair regimen when you are styling your hair. I'm telling you, it works wonders for me, especially for girls who have short hair. Like, it just makes your hair blend and it gives you that super polished, like salon finish look. Uh, I just love it. Like, even if you're like not good with like pressing out your ends, you know, like adding that wax stick to it really just, just seals the deal. Do y'all see? You see? Y'all see what I'm seeing? It's just, ooh, I love it. I'm about to go get my wax stick right now. <laughs> I sound like a drug addict, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, like, and they be so cheap. So yeah, I also add the wax stick to the top of my head too, to like tame flyaways. And you guys, like, it just blends right in perfectly. No problems, no issues, no nothing. All right, you guys, and we're done. Like, this is the finished look. I am in love with V-part wigs. They are my new obsession. I'm gonna get more of these. I want a short one, I want a curly one. I want one I can color, like, I think, do y'all remember the 10 minute sew-ins when those were around like 2008? This is what V-part wigs remind me of. They remind me of the 10 minute sew-in. You can totally clip these down if you like it. But for me, like the clippings just weren't comfortable. Like I could just, I could feel them. It felt so heavy on my head. It felt like it was straining my braids out. So for me, sewing them down is the way to go. And it's super easy and affordable. You know, like a braider costs what? Anywhere from 20 to $40 tops. If you're getting your hair washed, maybe 50, 60. But I mean, you know, you get your braids done once every two months if you know how to keep your hair neat. Like, you guys, it just saves so much money. It's beautiful, like, and you can take it off. 
I didn't sew down the back so I can go in the back and oil my scalp as I need to as well. This is just it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be launching these V-part wigs on my website once I've kind of, you know, fixed the little loose ends in them. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing. It really helps my channel and I will see you all next time. Bye.